12 step programs are not just for addicts, though I will confess, I am absolutely addicted to overthinking and trying to figure things out, especially when unexpected events come my way. As the primary caregiver for my husband, living with Lewy body dementia, I have to make all the decisions and I need to plan for his care <clears throat> and my own every day for the rest of our lives. And I recently found out that uh, all of the help that I absolutely needed uh, during the day is going away. So I've been overthinking quite a bit. And so I was praying this morning and was prompted to uh, pick up a book that's been so helpful for me. It's called The Language of Letting Go. It's by Melody Beatty. And uh, she has written a, a number of books and has, uh, from what I can tell, uh, lived through and overcome a lot of trauma from childhood, which by the way, we've all had childhood traumas. Uh, the trick is how do we get beyond those childhood traumas affecting us as adults when we need to make adult decisions. So I prayed and asked for a message for myself and it seems like this might be something that could help a number of you beautiful followers from our community. And this is called uh, asking for what we need. Whoa, here we go. Sometimes it takes hard work and much energy to get what we want and need. We have to go through the pains of identifying what we want, then struggle to believe that we deserve it. Then we may have to experience the disappointment of asking someone, having the person refuse us, and figuring out what to do next. Yeah. Sometimes in life, getting what we want and need is not so difficult. Sometimes all we need to do is ask. We can go to another person or our higher power, our creator, and ask for what we need. But because of how difficult it can be at times to get what we want and need, we may get trapped in the mindset of believing it will always be that difficult. That's what happens to me. Sometimes not wanting to go through the hassle, dreading the struggle, or out of fear, we may make getting what we want and need much more difficult than it needs to be. We may get angry before we ask, deciding that we'll never get what we want. We're anticipating the fight we'll have to endure. By the time we talk to someone about what we want, we may be so angry that we're demanding, not asking. Thus, our anger triggers a power play that didn't exist except in our own mind. Or we may get so worked up that we don't ask, or we waste far more energy than necessary fighting with ourselves only to find out that the other person or our higher power is happy to give us what we want. Sometimes we have to fight and work and wait for what we want and need. Sometimes we can get it just by asking or stating that this is what we want. Ask. If the answer is no or not what we want, then we can decide what to do next. So here's the affirmation that I ask you to affirm with me today, just for today. We will not set up a difficult situation that doesn't exist with other people or our higher power about getting what we want and need. If there is something we need from someone, we will ask first before we struggle. So I am asking God, my higher power, to lead me to the next best steps for caring for my husband. That's what I want. That's what I need. And I trust that I'm going to get those answers if I'm willing to release the struggle. I'm willing, or at least I'm willing to be willing. So thank you, if anybody else is struggling, for asking either God or somebody else for what they want and need. Put it in the comments. Let's help each other release the struggle, create the space to receive our answers.
God bless you all. We can do this.